Hey everyone, it's me, Kristen. <clears throat> um, I'm sick and getting over some kind of cold or something, but um, I wanted to do a video update on how I've been. It's been a little bit over a year since my last video, and I wanted to show you my progress. Um, <clears throat> So the past year I've definitely improved a lot and I think it was probably around like Christmas time that I started to see the first sign of movement back here and just kind of like slowly progressed and has gotten better so that's exciting. Um, I did get Botox on this side and um, in here in my cheek to help with the pulling dramatically to the one side. Um, I think the eyebrow thing has helped. Smiling, maybe not so much. <laughs> I feel like I feel so terrible right now. I don't know why I'm even filming this, but um, I figured I have time since I'm homesick today. <clears throat> so um, I definitely think that it's a process with the nerve graft healing. Um, everything and I also think that there is a whole like mental side of the process as well because I still even though I'm looking better I'm still feeling like I'm at that point like two days after surgery and not looking and feeling my best so there are some days where I have good days and I, I do feel good but I think most days I'm still very self-conscious and it's something that I'm trying to work on um, so I don't know I think that that was something that I struggled with a lot even before my surgery and the diagnosis and everything so I'm sure other people are thriving and doing you know completely a lot better than I am and maybe you are but I think I don't know it's kind of strange because you think it would kind of build you up to feel like a stronger person and in some ways I think so but there's still like you know the battles that you need to fight where it's like you know you just trying to feel confident in yourself with different things I think that they're like in personal and like work life I feel like I don't want to deal with any kind of like nonsense and I feel like I I'm probably more aware of that and you know easier to speak up about it in that way but then when it comes to like I don't know just like being alone feeling alone and wondering why that is and that's been a struggle so I think for me it's been more of like the mental side of things that have been like really bad for me <clears throat> but I think that you know everyone that I've talked to they they do feel that way like why me why is this happening and blah 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 you know because it is unfair it's not you know something that everybody is you know hoping that they go through but I do think that there's a reason you come out stronger and I am seeing that in like certain sides of my life but um, like I said it is a challenge for sure um, I've met a few people through this whole process and they've definitely given me some good advice and tips. I think a lot, you want to just like make sure you're getting a lot of circulation on your bad side, doing like stretching and massaging, like something like that, that really helps. Um, and I guess I can go into this further when I'm feeling a little bit better. I don't want to be like sick, my hands in my mouth, I'm probably going to get myself more sick than I already am. But, um, yeah, just make sure that you are increasing circulation, whether that's through yoga or cardio. I notice when I do those things that I get a lot of tingle, tingling sensation, and that means that the nerve is like regrowing, or the you know the blood flow is good. Blood flow is what helps the nerve regrowth, and I've had various different people tell me that, so I really believe that that's you know the key to it. Um, so, and. Apparently, just like trying to be relaxed, that helps. I don't know. Um, so, yeah, I just wanted to give an update to let you know that I am healing and I'm, I'm doing well. 
and that there's definitely hope for you guys. Um, I'll just go through a few facial expressions. So smiling, smiling big. I can feel like right now it's just like really tight in here and even here. I feel like, I don't know, it's just been really tight. Uh, raising eyebrows, lowering, mm, kissy face. Mm, that has not improved much. Um, that was probably one of the first things that I noticed to go because I would remember speaking and trying to say like things with B's and M's and <laughs> but it was really hard. So maybe I need to do a little bit more massaging since I am feeling that tightness in here today. But um, yeah, usually it's not this tight. But um, that was probably, like I said, one of the first things to go. And then it was obviously like my smile because I think like whatever muscle is here and here is playing a big role in that, I guess. Um, but the Botox I think was helpful because I don't look so dramatically pulled to like, I, I think I raise and like lower my eyebrows a lot. It's just kind of like, oh, I don't know, something that I do. I'm not quite sure why, but I think that helped. Um, and a girl that I was speaking with, she has gone through something very similar with the facial nerve um, paralysis and she says that her doctors also give her injections on the inside of so on the good side yes so on this side they'll do one here and then also on the inside you don't want to mess with like the up and down here because those are the smile muscles and the frowning muscles so you want to leave those be you don't want to uh, mess with those because you can just really mess with your whole smile so I think the goal is to just you don't want it to pull back as much so I think um, next time I go which I may go maybe in like another month I think I'll try that um, so I don't really know what else to say other than take your vitamins and drink a lot of water because that's something that I made sure that I did every day and just stay positive and I know it's very hard but to like find the good things in life and every day <clears throat> and you'll make it through and just try to reach out to other people who are going through something similar and I think it'll be a real blessing to them and if we can share our stories and things that have helped and share awareness you know that's all we can that's the best thing that we can do for each other so um, I'll try to do an update again soon all right bye guys